Welcome back, everybody. It's time for our grand final, the final match of 2023 here at Strikers OCE. Look, it's been a fantastic year, and I can't think of two better teams to finish this one off, except for actually, well, mm, I can't think of two better teams right now to finish it off, and I can't think of six better players to finish it off. I think that's a better way to put it. Look, we had some highs, we had some lows. Uh, there's been a lot of a lot of fun times, so we're gonna finish this one off with a banger. It's gonna be a, again that classic matchup between well, Egg F C U T taking on well, they're they're big big rivals now. Yeah. It is, of course, A Pug's Life, 1998. I got to include the date. I haven't been including the date. You got to include the date. Uh, a Pug's Life, 1998, because that is when they are from, and this is what they are going to be about. Here we go. On to the pitch. Zinnia busting out the Juno rune as well. Coming in this one, Dubo. Goal keeps each side. The only difference is that Rasmus and that Juno, so we'll see how that one will play out. Um, Awakenings, it's all about prime time. That That is where our Awakenings are. Uh, the only person not running prime time is going to be Aurelia with the Egoist. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. As the first barrier is going to fall in favor of the Pug's life side. But granted, that's only one barrier. Look, this is a best of five. However, there is a winner's advantage. Egg already one game up, so they only need to win two of these you know final four matches and they will be good a 50 percent win rate is enough to become champions but on the other side if a pug's life are going to win this one out they've got to win three out of four it is a very difficult challenge to win three out of four games so you'd have to be calling egg the uh favorites in this one especially considering how they won that winner's bracket they did so well it was technically a 2-0 we had our mako moment i'm going to call it make and mako the moment Moment, moments of Make and Mako. Uh, a lot of ways you can kind of describe that one. Either way, it was a funny little moment there. And uh, we'll see if that continues here. 0-0 zero, zero scoreline. Both goals now open up. Core flip from Ahmed, but you can see that Tofu wall from Kruha just shutting it down. Still the core final way around it as Aurelia and Rixie connect. Good corner pass. Good first goal. First point goes to the egg. We boil in them. Well, well, actually, I'm kind of curious. What do people like? What, what is your favorite kind of egg? This is our final time to really sit down and chat with each other. I want to know what eggs you guys like. Boiled, scrambled, omelet. If it's not omelet, you're doing eggs wrong. If you're saying hard boiled, I, I don't know who you are, and uh, we can't be friends. Uh, Aurelia, looking to pass it down below. Going to get that first barrier with the pass up of the Rixie. Core flip did its job in creating space eventually the second barrier does fall as well Rixie just trying to brute force it in meanwhile Aurelia getting absolutely bullied right now gonna have to be careful barrier falls on the other side Ahmed says Zinnia coming right at them a little bit late on the lunge and the cook from Aurelia kept Io from taking the shot and although the tofu wall went down as well didn't really kind of sync up those specials together they do get punished and we're gonna be tied one apiece whoa <laughs> you know I, I, I see what you're saying, Yokaze. I see what you're saying. Um, and you know what? That's, uh... Oh, what's the name of that weird, like, duck embryo egg thing? Anyways, uh, gonna be a 1-1 one, one game. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to think about that right now. Now my stomach's getting queasy. My heart palpitating in excitement. As we're looking to see the first barrier nearly fall down. There it goes. Good look from a pug's life. They're going to get the second barrier as well. Gold's going to open up. All they need is that one magic touch to put this one away. And it comes from Zinnia. Two to one lead. Good jump forward from Zinnia to get that one. What was the purple flavor? Tau? Like um, tapioca? I don't remember. I think it was tapioca. Something like that. That was the purple flavor. Toro, Taro. I don't. I'm. I, I'm not familiar with bubble tea culture. All right. Every time I go to Cha Time, it's it's grapefruit, green tea, half ice, no sugar. That that's my extent of knowledge when it comes to the bubble tea world. Uh, so we see the pressure on the top side. Aurelia trying to force something through, not able to get it on that approach. Cross up from Zinnia nearly works. The rune anomaly from Ao actually kind of looked like it knocked it back, but it was a Rixie. 
it was a Rixie anomaly, so my apologies. I, you know, this can get very confusing with two runes running around, all right? Each creating anomalies. You've got blobs flying everywhere. This is just a lot of projectiles on the screen right now and what is already kind of a smaller map. I mean, these two teams really did each other's no favors in terms of a simple game. That goal will go through and we're gonna be tied to all. Here we go. So two a piece. See what more fun we can find. That's gonna be a KO on that bottom side. Rixie wanting to kind of Get that one across, not able to Aurelia now using the bongo to bang open the goal and nearly escorts it in. Not able to find that one. Bubble T coming flying from the sky. Io feeling not very thirsty because they drank that one down. Gonna make this one a one barrier game now. Double anomaly from both runes. That was Io's anomaly that kind of threw it right back into crew. Ozinia going to try to force it on that top side. Great angle from Ahmed. Nearly sets up Aurelia for the set securing goal. Didn't quite come together that time. Aurelia is still going to be hunting for something. Wanted the corner pass down to Rixie. We've seen that before. Pendulum doesn't force it in either. Rixie now going up top to Ahmed. It got around Zinnia, but the blob was there for the save. And now the core kind of stuck in projectile prison. Eventually does make its way out. Again, the Pendulum not able to secure it. Ayo's going to launch themselves all the way forward. The rollout buys a bit of space. KO as well. Power play. And what a dodge right there from Rixie. Ahmed gets credit for the goal, though. And that's going to be the first set going to EGGFUCT. One set down, two sets to go, and they can find themselves one game away. Now, got to keep in mind, too. Uh, because this is a best of, well, four, I guess, uh, best of five, one game advantage to EGG FUCT. Uh, the order of the maps, because we didn't go over that, was Takao's temp um, Takio Temple, Alice's Lab, AI Means App, and then Night Market to finish us off if we have to come to it. Um, personally, if it were up to me, uh, we would be finishing the year on Inkies, but apparently I'm banned from choosing maps. Uh, that's what I was told. Uh, so we get to have, you know, the quote-unquote normal maps. Uh, either way, first barrier is going to fall courtesy of Aurelia. Good use of using that middle bongo drum to get that one in. As Aurelia looks to throw it up to Rixie, can't quite force it through that tofu wall. Bongo drum's doing what they can, but not too much after that. Tofu wall again from Ahmed, this time kept it on that lower end. Anomaly's not really making contact. Barrier's going to fall. Zinnia looked for the shot, not able to get it. Ahmed looking to kind of lock down that top side. Eventually, the rollout does keep it all along. That top half, Aurelia again, just trying to force something, but not able to force it in. As we're trying to find those passes down, Ahmed to Rixie. Rixie wants to jump forward. And does get that one more towards the back where the pendulum misses. The second barrier will fall. Goal opens up. Io looking to escort it somewhere, and that somewhere is into the goal. Just winning the strike war against Ahmed right there to get themselves that in. Pug's life. Up by one in this second set. Must win set for them as well. So that's the exact start that they're going to be hoping to see. Here we go. One nil lead. As we see that pressure coming on that top side. Aurelia core flip. Not quite where it needed to be. Rixie now looking to step this one forward. Trying to brute force it into that barrier. Not quite there. There we go. First barrier is going to fall. Second barrier is going to fall. Oh, this is dangerous. Core flip. It made contact, but no. Io somehow got behind it. Core was like nearly invisible there for a brief moment. Rollout will miss, but still really looks for the pass into Rixie through traffic. Nearly works out. A good little anomaly redirect almost allowed Ayo to break away with it, but doesn't quite hit its mark. But what does is the anomaly from Rixie to make this 1-1 one -one in set number two. Here we go. Turning into a very spicy looking game right now. As Aurelia wants to keep things up high, Zinnia looks to instead throw it right back down low. Ahmed trying to play goal keep. First barrier will fall. It's a little bit awkward. Graw will come back to save. That's a big anomaly. Second barrier is going to come down as well. Tofu wall nearly kept it in a dangerous spot. Doesn't matter when you win the strike war. Rixie takes the second set. And with that, oh, I'm sorry, it makes it 2 1 in the second set. I thought. It was already 2-1. Oh, ah, well. My bad. Rixie gets him one goal away from the second set, is what I meant to say. And who knows? Maybe through that, 
Well, they'll be taking the second set shortly. It's looking pretty good, though, however, for the uh, Pugs Life 1998. Guess they're going to try to keep this one down. I just realized there are people playing this game right now that weren't even born yet in 1998. In fact, I would... Oh, I wonder. Yeah, I would assume most of the people playing in this game right now weren't born when that came out. Possibly all of them. And that makes me feel old. Thank you, A Pug's Life 1998. Thank you for that. Making me feel old. Pretty sure I saw that movie in the theaters. Two all, as Io puts it in. Snake out. 2004, 2002. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it ain't easy being a 90s kid, okay? Um, only 90s kids would understand. Uh, body slam, keeping the core where it is. Health stationary, all the anomalies thrown down into that corner. All the projectiles, I should say. The anomalies were there too, though. Uh, as we do get to see a core flip from Aurelia, but it gets stuffed by Kruha. Big time moment right there. This is pretty much, it feels like a must win set right now for a pug's life they really don't want to go down uh already in this best of five to go down two uh, it would be rough they'd have to reverse sweep to prevent a situation where they'd have to reverse sweep if that makes sense the goal is going to open up for them though all they need is that one magic touch and they will be in that prime position Io is going to be the one looking forward had zinnia underneath but they're not able to come together beautiful play from aurelia to kind of hit that gap, and now all of a sudden the Tofu wall comes out, Ayo jumps forward, got the banish and got the goal, Ayo, big moment there to secure set number two, and we're going to go to set three tied. Yeah, Zoid Buster's a 90s kid, I like that, there you go, you understand. <laughs> Alright, what's what, where are we going with this Juno pick right now? What are we feeling? Timeless creator. Yep. Let you know what? <laughs> With all of the creations, yeah, I, I kind of see it. Uh, rapid fire going as well to one rune. Again, there's going to be the cast last. So, so, very, very long tofu walls. On the other side, you have the tofu walls coming out straight away. I mean, these are a lot of good awakenings for creations. And it kind of feels like everyone who's making them is getting something that they wanted, with the exception of Rixie, who is still there. Rixie always likes to move at that last moment. Um, but again, when you look at Rixie's build so far, they already got the Demolitionist, so like, it, Demolitionist plus the cooldown spark, I'm actually kind of scared about how many anomalies we're going to be seeing from Rixie as we move forward, especially if that spark build starts to come together a little bit more. Uh, definitely going to be something to keep our eyes on as we watch Aurelia try and push this one forward through that bottom side. E-G-G-F-U-C-T. Would love another goal here. They would love to start off this third set in a prime position. Aurelia, though, unable to force that one in as the core makes its way to the top side. That's a big problem for Zinnia. They're able to get out of this one. Aurelia protected by that tofu barrier, so they're going to be okay this time around. KO. Rixie gets credit for it, and now in the 3v2, you would think Rixie would be able to tap it in, but the body slam from Kruha keeps it alive. Anomaly as well. Ayo holding their own as Aurelia is unable to force it through. Good stuff from Io, who now goes all the way to the other side. Zinnia is back throwing down those blobs. Oh, the pendulum's angle not quite where it needed to be, but the dunk off of the rollout is Aurelia gets credit for the first goal in set number three. Kruha has been playing some great Omega Strikers, but it just hasn't been enough yet. Here we go. Again, we go down to that bottom corner where just everyone throws everything and it's impossible to keep track of what's going on, especially when your computer kind of gets a little chunky chunky. Um, but mine doesn't, so I don't need to worry about that. Gold's going to open up. Looking very, very good for the EGG FUC side. As Aurelia unable to kind of brute force it in just, just yet. Aurelia looking to throw it down. And with the pendulum, we'll secure the goal to make this one a 2-0 set three at the moment. Here we go. Very, very strong showing right now for our team in red. They just need 
Well, one more goal and then they're going to be really, really in a good spot. That's, that's kind of what we're sitting at right now. Core flip from Rixie swings and misses. Everyone's just getting banished. Everyone's getting thrown around. Blob doesn't create as much space as they would like as Ahmed and Aurelia start to step forward. Rixie kind of stuck in a strike battle against Zinnia. He's going to throw it down to the other side. Second barrier opens up and through the blob in we go. Zinnia gets credit for that goal. And that's a Pug's Life saying we're not done yet with this set. We can reverse sweep you if you're not careful. But they're going to be looking for it. Big strike off that kickoff. Sees one barrier go down. Rixie now going to try to force the issue on that top side. There was a near bum rush coming from the egg team, but not able to get there straight, straight away. Ahmed holding their own. Has core flip available. Going to save it for the second barrier, you would have to imagine, as Aurelia tries to keep it on that top side. Good use of the bongo drum. And then with the anomaly, it keeps the core kind of pinned down. Still, though, Kruha was able to find the angle to get it out. Core flip from Aurelia. It's shut down initially by a blob, but the strike war was going to be run by Aurelia in the end. And now... Oh, you saw the hook come out. It's not necessarily needed. Rixie wants the cross up. Not going to get the goal rollout. It's going to lock down that bot side. The anomaly locks down the top. The pressure stays, and the pendulum secures that set number three going to EGG FUCT. There we go. Things looking very, very strong. Very, very, very interesting as we get ready for well what could be the final set here in game number one of our grand final do you call this game one or game two i've never really known no one is scoring against ahmed it's over i kind of agree ahmed has just been in such complete control it feels like it's been great stuff from ahmed so tough to beat and they, they can do it one more time. Oh boy. It is theirs. Here we go. First barrier is going to fall, but not quite the second one. As Indian wants to lead the charge back up that other way, can only go so far with it. Of course, going to make its way back down. It gets thrown around. Second barrier is going to fall. This is actually pretty good for a pug, but not good enough. Ah, oh, the pug's life. Thought they had it at that moment. They're still going to be hunting for it, though. It's just a wall of red, though, rotating to that bot side. Ayo finds the gap, gets it through. Zinnia is looking to lock down that top corner if they could just get it to her, and they're not going to be able to initially. Ahmed gets crossed up, though, Fry Ayo, and that's going to be the first goal. Bugs Life staying in this one. So there you go. People are going to score. People are going to get points. Points are good. We like points. We stand points. Yay, points. Here we go. I mean, uh, you, you have to score a certain amount. Like, the, this game, people will score eventually. That's how Omega Strikers works. Here we go. Core flip coming from Ahmed. Gets the first barrier down. Aurelia wants to get this one to Rixie, who has a core flip, but it's going to be shut down by a core flip out of Kruha. Throws up to Zidia, who has their own core flip she's holding on to. Not quite used just, just yet. As Rixie isn't really able to force it through. Not straight away. Ahmed back up to that top side. Aurelia is there. Can only do so, so much with it. Tofu wall holding its own. Ahmed just kind of waiting for an opportunity to get another strike. Doesn't find it straight away. Core flip still available on Aurelia. Ahmed oh, can't hit that next touch. Here we go. Ahmed just gets beat. And Zinnia, one point away. And here we go. A chance to go to set number five. And the whole dichotomy of this grand final changes three player banish, uh, depending on who wins this match. Because if Egg FCUT wins it, well, then they just need to win one out of three games and the tournament is theirs. If it goes the other way, we're looking at like a reverse sweep to take it. But if a Pug's Life wins, we're just playing a best of three. Like, it, it, and, and it feels so different, uh, whichever way you look at it. There we go, though. Rixie through the top, gets a big banish. But not enough to follow it up all the way. As we see, Ayo with a chance just gets stuffed by the body slam. Ahmed keeping it down, but not away. It's a 3 0 set number four in favor for a pug's life. And we're going to the fifth. Going to that fifth set. 
Taiko Village living up to its, you know, reputation as being one of the more fun maps. I mean, delivering all the way to that fifth set. So let's see how this plays out. First pick, of course, on Juno. It's going to be that hot shot. Rune's going to go ahead and actually take that spark of resilience. And remember, we were talking about that before. See how that spark build comes together. Well, that's just even more cooldowns going over to this Rune right now. And we'll see how it plays out. I mean, you team play goalies. That's what you want among Titans. Again, it works for the goalies. The size, I think it works when you're not doing that much movement. So let's see how it plays out. What, this could be like you know the big final final set like it's, it's kind of crazy uh to think about you know that one of these teams are gonna win and the other's gonna lose isn't that mind-blowing i am having a moment uh ko <laughs> by egg fuct uh and off the power play you'd have to hope they would be able to get a barrier but it's just not looking like it's coming together actually they haven't been able to piece it not yet at least io is back up and standing now looking to try to I'm from the top again. They'll have the cooldowns. First barrier does fall though. Aurelia misses on the strike. Jumping forward, core flip Zinnia up into the bongo drum. And that actually winds up working against Zinnia. The same barrier falls and then through the pendulum, it turns into a goal. EGG FUCT up one nil. Oh, that was a little bit weird. That was weird and spicy. A little bit crunchy too. The crunchy munchies is what we're looking for right now. So many anomalies and barriers and walls. Everyone just using everything in that quarter to start this one off. As we're going to see that first barrier fall. Same with the second barrier. Oh, this is very dangerous right now for a pug's life. They've got to be able to flip it back. And again, they have the control at the moment. They're on the attacking half. If they can keep it here, it would be really good for them. Aurelia loses out in the duel against Inia, who commits it all. Had left that blob, but it wasn't enough. Middle Bongo nearly scores. Rixie. Keeping it on the top side. My anomaly is bigger than yours, but it's still not quite enough. Rixie has a core flip. going to use it up to Aurelia. The cross-up works. And we're on match. Well, game point, I should say. I don't want to call it match point. I don't want to call it tournament point. But I want to call it a very good position, if nothing else. EGG, FUCT. One goal away from getting that 2-0 series lead in this final. They get the early KO as well. So it is a promising start. But will they be able to follow up on it? Will they be able to keep on it? Ahmed tries to take it to that lower side. The rollouts come through, but not nothing really securing for themselves. Aurelia gets the first barrier, so we're one aside. As they get banished, the anomaly doesn't kind of get through just, just yet. Yeah, the core getting banished as well made that a little bit awkward for a pug's life, I think. As Io is unable to fight it. I liked what Zinnia was going for. It's not going to work out this time. The dive. Well, contact was made. Defense was ready for it. Crew Hall has core flip available as well. And I, I feel like I want to see this blue side playing with a bit of urgency right now because they want to take advantage of that core flip before, you know, the um, egg, egg is able to get their own back up and running core flip in front of the net, but it gets stuffed. Don't really know how that worked. Rixie cuts off Io as well. Looks to cross up to the top side. Crew has to burn their core flip, but now Rixie with control hits that narrow gap around the anomaly Aurelia. On the top side, jumped all over by Zinnia. Body slam, Ahmed, save on the line. Oh, that looks like it was going in for sure. Ahmed coming up so, so clutch. Now has the core flip. We'll see how they will get that chance to use it. Now it's going to be used when the core starts bouncing around like crazy. Pendulum gave it a bit more boost. Aurelia gets that second barrier. Yeah, again, that's that game point right there. All they need is the touch, and Aurelia has the core flip for it. Rollout tries to set up. Aurelia doesn't need it because the pendulum will hit. And that's going to do it. Game number two in this best of five. We'll go to EGG FUCT, and that will make them one game away. One, one, one more game, one more game, and they're going to be the champs. One away from it. As it was a big time win right there. I love it when we go to set five. But uh gotta ask right now, where do we go from here? Well, the answer is Atlas's lab. We're going to Atlas's lab next. As soon as our players are ready for it. That is going to be, I think, a good little battle. And it could be our final map. This could be it. This could be where everything ends for the year. And that's really sad. I don't want things to end for the year. I want things to continue forever. I want this game to not be going thrown into a development limbo. 
but here we are. And we're going to send this one out with a bang, I am sure. Either we see what is easily the best team in OCE get another win, EGG, FUCT, or we see the big time reverse sweep comeback. Oh, we're going to have fun with this. Here we go. I, I, I'm curious to see how this one will play out. I, I really am. As it will be a Juliet and a Dubu ban. The two main characters. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, Zoid. It's nothing. It's it's not important. You know you don't need to focus on that. All right, just 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 it's okay. Uh, we'll <laughs> here we go though. Game. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I don't want this to be a sweep, you right? Like, if this is our final series ever, we don't want it to be a sweep. We want it to be a close match. Zinnia again on that Juno. I love the Juno pick. Io on the rune. I mean, it makes it fun. Rixie rocking the AI me. I think that's a little bit different. I'm going to be excited to see how that one will play out as we do hit Alice's lab. Our opening awakenings. Extra special for everybody except for Aurelia, who has opted for the big fish. So a lot of extra awakenings on this one. And we'll see how they uh, piece it together. As Ahmed's gonna look for look for something. Throwing it down, not able to get that goal. Io, just getting absolutely bullied right there. Looking to pass it down to Rixie, but they're not able to come into complete contact as Aurelia, again, just kind of watching that one into the barrier now. Again, just trying to protect that core as much as possible with that net open. They're looking. They're looking to try and force that one in, but yeah, it's, it's been tough for them to maintain control right now with Io and Cruel playing so far back and just hitting the projectiles. Doesn't matter though. Rixie still finds the gap, still finds that first goal, and they are eight away, technically. It's a weird way to think about it. Like that countdown, like nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's where we're at. Well, it's just one from nine to eight. However, you can always push it up another three if you win a set. But I, I like that. I like the analogy. I think we're going to be going with that. It's it's especially when we're in like Alice's lab and it looks like there's a giant rocket back behind there. Giga Blast gets the first barrier. Ahmed back to the top side. Good catch by Io. Oh, that was a cheeky little interception to open up that second barrier. Pug's life can tie this game up. All they need is that touch. All they need is that goal. Will they be able to find it? Rixie has a core flip, gets a KO themselves. As they knock it up to the other end, Aurelia kind of stuck dribbling into themselves right now, looking to force their way through that corner. Core flip used by Kruha to buy a bit some time. Although through that turret, the goal once again opens up. Ahmed Giga Blast hits Io, diving back. Zinnia gets that save. Rixie wants to throw it to Aurelia. But the gap was shut down by Xenia, who finds Io on a pass down as well. The blobs come down, but only two of them wasn't the most ideal one. Ahmed will catch. Xenia wants to step forward, but caught by the hook. Aurelia keeps them away and forces them to play defense. Giga Blast will miss. Io wants to step forward. There's the blob, nearly cuts it off. Core flip down, and in it goes. A pug's life equalizes that one apiece. Good plays. Good plays. Good intense moment. As we continue with this one. 1-1 one, one game. Turret going to help get that first barrier down. Rixie trying to do what they can. Throws it back up to the top side. One barrier apiece. Start off Atlas's lab. Here we go. Ahmed back up. There's the swinging pendulum, but it's not going to be enough for a goal either way. That's going to be... Oh, the barrage used for a KO out of Ahmed. Cheeky little moment right there. And that should lead to the second barrier volleying eventually. The Giga Blast had to kind of blast open the doorway. Turret comes down. Kruos finds to try to keep away from the turret. Aurelia unable to follow up the one touch that does come in. Io is back. Gets a revenge KO. And now Ahmed and Aurelia, they're going to be in a bit of strife, especially with Aurelia staggered as well. They get banished. They get knocked around. But they stay standing. And that's key because Ahmed now has a safe place to dish it, even if Aurelia... Is in a bit of strife. Ahmed steps forward with the core flip, gets stuffed on, loses that barrier shot from Io, and it's a 2 1 lead favoring a pug's life. Ooh. Crazy intense play right there. Kind of wild. Kind of wacky and wild, isn't it? Here we go. 2 to 1. Rixie. Now loses out on the duel up top, especially when the Giga Blast misses from Ahmed. That's going to open up the first barrier. I don't even know how none of those got. Okay, well, one did get hit. There you go. 
Aurelia gets the first and the second. Goal opened up, a chance to make this one two all in our first set. As we run into a bit of traffic in front of that oh, barrier and all oh, the black hole kill. Now you got a power play. Ahmed starts to step forward. Rixie shutting down that lower end. Aurelia still trying to force it in that 2v1. Good use of the glitch pop, but the turret is a little bit too far forward. It's not going to make contact, and Io is back. So the power play successfully defended, at least for the time being, by Pug's Life. Then through the use of the blob, the barrier is going to open up. A chance to take this first set. Now Black Hole throws a crew off. <laughs> Barely got to that one. It would have been a very awkward goal. Still Ahmed down to Rixie. Black Hole keeps it on the red side briefly. And yep, there comes that Tarot T up into IO. And in it goes. First set goes to a Pugs Life. Piecing it all through. Oh man, that's getting close. It's getting, it's getting interesting. That is for sure. Every Juno has gotten a hot shot so far tonight. Make it that what you will. But Juno has been getting hot time and time again. Deadeye taken as well. Uh, for Ahmed, Chrono Boost, nothing too surprising. I mean, it, and none of those awakenings really kind of jumped out at me as like, ooh, this is unconventional. So, I like it. I like safe, conventional, normal Omega Strikers when I have no idea what is happening. Uh, that's going to be a Glitch Pop KO. I know that much. And that's awkward because without Zinnia, I mean, so much of the field pressure you would think would be gone. Io going to try to do what they can, but you can see absolutely getting bullied right now. The Giga Blast misses, and if that had hit, it would have been another KO back to back power plays. As it stands, Io still in a bit of strife, but so is Aurelia. I can make things interesting here. One barrier down a piece. Must win series right now for Pug's Life. I, I, I mean, for I mean, every literal definition of it. If they lose this, if they lose this game, uh, the, the tournament is over. So yeah, I'm um, just stating the obvious. Aurelia, bullying Io. Yeah, hit with the pendulum. That's pretty nice. Looking to keep the dribble to themselves. Can't really go up anywhere with it because Rixie and Ahmed were too busy trying to KO Ao, so it kind of left Aurelia on their own. And yet they still created so much of that pressure. Now down to Aurelia, shot goes in. And it's a one nil lead. There you go. EGG FUCT starting to really you know, warm up maybe a little bit here in this second set. First set didn't really go quite the way they wanted to. Maybe the second set will Giga Blast <laughs> through the banished core. Not 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 ideal for Ahmed, but is what it is. And what it is is Rixie trying to play that game of chicken. Ayu though has it red. Ahmed though still finds a nice core flip. Still is able to throw it to that top side pendulum, just bullying Ayo, who is nearly going to get KO'd. I mean, Aurelia wants it and eventually will be able to brute force it. And now Zinnia also on the precipice of being KO'd has to jump to avoid some damage. That's going to concede the first barrier and the second barrier. And, oh, scary, scary moments for Pug's life right now. It feels like Egg have figured out, hey, when we go for KOs, good things happen. Aurelia gets another. And the KO squad is absolutely in full effect right now. This is pretty intense. Aurelia wants to stay with that core. Unable to go too far with it as the blob does make contact. Here we go. Open net both sides this would be a big time moment if a pug's life could get this goal after all the times they got ko'd i think it'd be a bit of a statement giga blast went a little bit low core flip has to be burned by crew hall but they find io on the pass and once again we're tied one each oh man also hey raid did we get raided Look at that. I think we got raided. I, I don't have access to the information of who would have raided us, but if someone has raided us, thank you, person who has raided us. Oh, no raid. Well, I have had my, 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 my brain broken. Um... I, I, I mean, why even stream at all if we're not going to get raided by strangers? Uh, here we go. One all. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, I sounded way too serious when I said that. That was a joke, people. I just want you to know that was a joke. Glitch pop. 
Can't go too far with it, Aurelia. Trying to dribble. I uh, guess that second barrier down. Here we go. Second barrier's down on both sides now again. A big opportune moment where Kruha finds the magic touch. And we are now one point away from a 2-0 lead of Pug's Life. Wanting to keep this tournament alive. Wanting to get themselves one step further to that reverse sweep. And it's a little early to be saying reverse sweep. They, they got to win at least one game first before before we say the RS word, I think. Even though I've just, like, broken it myself. I, they need to at least finish the deal, I would say, before I start to believe it. Especially because, you know... Sometimes things like that happen, and even the best laid plans go up in smoke to all. <laughs> oh, this one's getting interesting. This one's getting spicy. I have no idea which way it's going to go. That's the best kind of Omega Strikers. Oh, boy. One barrier's down. Goal open. Core flips there. Shot saved by Kruha. Just enough speed. Aurelia can't force it in on the first attempt. So Rixie will have to do it for them. That set's going to EGG FUCT. And they are now six goals away from taking this tournament. Oh, I'm loving this. Two sets, each going to goal number five. This could be a great trip to Atlas's lab. All right, what do we take right now? First pick for Aurelia. It's going to go reverberation. That leaves specialized training over for Kruha. Rapid fire going to get picked up as well as the flight or flight Juno. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see how much that comes through. I mean, it affects the blobs, right? The blobs count as hits. That could be a very fast Juno. Wait. Oh, I just realized what, what, wait a minute. I now know what you mean by raid. You're trying to steal Rixie from the final Omega Strikers tournament of the year to go on a WoW raid or a Final Fantasy raid or a Destiny raid. I don't know what game you're playing. I see what's going on. 1-0. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, Nero literally spelt it out, no MMO raid. Um, but my sleep-deprived brain saw MMO raid. It's like, oh, MMO, is that like, you know, money Monday only? I don't know, man. You have to tell me what game it is, all right? I, I need to know what MMO you guys are playing. It, it, will, it will help me because I, I swear if it is runescape we're gonna have problems it's okay it's final fantasy 14 all right all right that's fine then i mean well it's got a nice soundtrack there we go i'll give it that yeah so we're gonna see a couple ko's pressure on that top side <laughs> and eventually it is gonna go in the pendulum's gonna bang it through look I, I, I used to have energy for these things, um, and then I adopted a normal sleeping pattern. And then I've started to work out every morning. So by the time it gets to like 9.30 at night, it's like, hmm, that bed's looking pretty good. Uh, but here we go. Bottom barrier's gonna fall down right now. It looks pretty bad for Aurelia, but they don't get KO'd. Rixie's gonna try to force things through that top side. Let's like pass it back to Ahmed, wanting to keep things up top, but they're not able to go too, too far with the Kruha. We can do establish down below as well. Pendulum's going to swing and miss as Ahmed keep things on the down low. Aurelia as well, just trying to keep things, just, just trying to force it through, force the issue. Ahmed, pass up, runs into a bit of traffic. A couple banished players, a KO on the bottom side. All right, so we're one barrier apiece, but it's a power play right now for EGG FUCT. They get that second barrier. They look to pass it forward. Rixie looking to stay with it, keeping it down on the glow. The jump forward's not going to be enough for the KO. As the glitch pop hits, doesn't really finish the deal. Rixie tries to stay on it, pass up to Aurelia, and that nearly gets the goal. Rixie's there, but can't quite hit it. Sure, it's going to be dropped, but still the momentum's going to swing it back up to that top side. Oh boy, Ahmed with the core flip screens. It's going to be difficult to take down that barrier. Really going to need to send two unless the timing is off. Barrier falls, Ahmed in an awkward situation, 1v1, and Ayo wins out. So we're going to stay 2-1. to one. 
Pug's Life stays fighting. Do a sleepy on stream. Um, I did that earlier. It was called uh, the Uni Rocketeers Winter Trials. It was European, and it was at four in the morning for me. It was awful. Here we go. <laughs> Second barrier falls. <laughs> oh, this is a chance to make it to all of Pug's Life. They could crawl back if they reverse sweep set three. It would be massive, and they're one goal away. Stepping forward, Kruha gets it done. Final Fantasy players in shambles. Has the reverse sweep to take set three, is one goal away. Double banish, open barrier, down falls the bottom one, but a KO on the top side means Egg can start to bring it back. Rixie wants to throw it up. It's intercepted by Zinnia. The Blob secures the second barrier, but it's a Giga Blast that gets rid of Zinnia, who had a core flip available to keep the power play alive. Redirect Ayo takes the third set. Oh, what a play with the anomaly. Oh, boy. Oh, we could be going to game four. I, I, they're just three holes away from game four. Keeping this one going. Either that or we go to another set five. Yeah, rune moment. Exactly. It was a big rune moment right there. Exactly what you want to see. Demolitionist going to be taken by uh, Kruha, who has been playing forward quite a fair bit. Aerials on Zinnia as well as pretty scary. The one-two punch from Aurelia, who has been getting KOs, so I'm not too surprised by that one. Super Surge going quite late, and among Titans, that last pickup. See how it works out. Io with the Among Titans. I'm kind of curious on how that is going to look. As we see the anomalies get placed. Doesn't get the first core, though. Very late strike from Ahmed, actually. The, the range able to get there. Now, with one barrier down, pressure is absolutely on both of these teams. Ahmed looking to throw it down. Aurelia is there dribbling it back up to themselves. Through the corner we go. Pendulum doesn't quite follow it through. As you see, the glitch pop helps secure that second barrier. Zinnia's going to look to lead the charge, but there's a KO on the far end. No goalie right now for a Pug's life, but the Banish is going to buy some time. Pass up to Rixie, loses the strike war against Zinnia. Blob gets it past Aurelia on the first attempt, but Ahmed's there to help force it in. The Giga Blast got the redirect, and that's going to be the first goal going to EGG FUCT. Those are what they need. Those are the little moments. Those are the little goals. They'll, they'll, they'll stack. They'll build up. And then who knows? All right. Pressure on that bot side. Still not able to get to that barrier. As Aurelia tries to get in the way, not able to find it. Ahmed throwing it down. Barrage comes out as we see Zinnia with the core flip. Not able to piece it together. Second barrier is going to fall. And I'm seeing a lot of blue bars. Rixie leading the charge back up to that other side. One-on-one -on -one against Kruha. But isn't able to beat it out even with the core flip. And now Zinnia staggered. Has to stay alive. But still finds the core flip. Finds the redirect up to themselves. And in it goes. Big time play from Zinnia. Keep this alive. Oh, man. Zinnia just doing so much good stuff when, when, when she gets hot. Tough to beat as Ahmed keeps it down on the down low. Rixie looking to step forward, doesn't get that call just yet. Now Ahmed looking to kind of ghost it up. Down goes that top barrier. Ahmed keeping it held up high, getting absolutely bullied. Glitch pop creates a bit of space. Rixie and Aurelia helps gets the first and second barrier. Core flip in front of the open net. No! Rixie's glitch pop doesn't sneak it through. But the redirect nearly does. Almost shot the gap. Core flip has to be used by both members. And it's not going to be enough. And we go to set point for EGG FUCT. Oh, man. This back and forth plays. Becoming very, very difficult. Here we go. Oh, man. Down to Aurelia. Can't quite push it through. Bottom barrier is going to fall. Aurelia doing what she can. As we see, oh, Io just waiting underneath. Almost got that touch back up and in. Doesn't quite find it yet. Here we go. The charge coming together. Aurelia looking to force a pass. Crew out. Gets that first barrier, but it doesn't fall fast enough for the angle to hit the second. It was blocked that second time, but the glitch pop does find it. 
And now with the core flip on Rixie, might be needed to get it out of this defensive side. Aurelius touch, Giga Blast misses a block hole. Actually makes things complicated. Rixie's core flip goes straight into Zinnia. Now Ahmed has to dribble it away from Io. Has a core flip themselves if need be. Rixie redirects, shoots the narrowest of narrow gaps. And that's going to be set for going to EGG FUCT. And now... <laughs> We either have the set to keep a pug's life alive or the set to crown Egg F-U-C-T, the champs on this one. No rest of Nero gaps. Yeah, I mean, there, there's been so many snipe shots. It feels like talks. It's been pretty crazy. Also, I hope you're feeling better, man. I, I generally hope you're feeling better. You should be resting up, getting nice and cozy. I hope you have some warm or hot, you know, lemon honey tea, nice bowl of soup, just all those liquids, and I hope you're comfortable, as comfortable as you can be. Here we go. Zero, zero. Two aside, Giga Blast gets both barriers. Can't ask for a better start of this fifth set than that from Ahmed. Maybe the goal. Maybe the goal would be nice. I think that would make it better because both their barriers are down now as well. Io tries to force the issue. Here comes Kruos stepping up. Zidia dribbles it to themselves. The big blob gets the big touch, but it's not quite there. And I really should have spoken about the Awakenings, but I didn't even pay attention in the slightest because I am a man of action, not brain think. And the action is saying, those are giant blobs. Zinnia is scary right now. The anomaly, not enough. How does Ahmed make those reads? Big time moments from Ahmed to stay alive. Glitch Pop only goes so far with it. Follow up is there from Rixie in the first goal. It's gonna go to EGG FUCT. All right, let me take a look at these awakenings. I actually, I actually should look at them. What do we have? Okay, yeah, so the timeless creator on Rixie is gonna be a big part, but prime time on Io is scary. Monumentalist on Xena is obviously scary and Knife's Edge as well on Kruhop. A lot of scary awakenings, I feel like, on this blue side. Here we go. First barrier is going to fall as well for a pug's life. That's Kruos sitting with that core flip available. Throws it up to Zinnia, not needing the core flip, but the Giga Blast still made contact. And now the core makes its way, hits that barrier. Number one each. I get that long turret does damage. Oh, nearly sniped it around the anomaly. Not quite hitting its mark. Black hole instantly popped, but it does get a really a kind of low core flip from Kruha. It doesn't make contact. Rixie with the core flip actually is going to use it to flip it to the other side. Aurelia was waiting. Barrier did go down, Aurelia not needed that time. Now Rixie, ooh, cut up instead of down. Interesting, Ahmed with the core flip, uses it to create space. Follow from the turret, Giga Blast makes contact, but the turret's just gonna tap it in. And now it is tournament point. EGG FUCT, one goal away. Big time moment of Pug's life. Desperate to stay alive. The first Giga Blast from Ahmed does damage, but not as much damage that was done. Back to Rixie, who's been KO'd. Doesn't matter. Aurelia's Pendulum is going to get the first barrier. The Blob is going to get the second. Zinnia nearly taken out. Again, Aurelia does so much damage, but it might not matter. Io tries to force it in. Rixie is back, but cannot make the save. The second barrier is going to fall. KO on the far end. Rixie was able to find Zinnia, and now on the power play, they can't get that second barrier. Yes, they can. Glitch Pop was able to find it. Now Io looks to dribble. Gets broken up by the Barrage, but Bandit Finishing. The likes of one means Aurelia isn't there or doesn't have the backup from Rixie to follow up. Ayo's cross up. Not enough for the goal. Not quite accurate. Last touch from Ahmed into the anomaly. Now back up to the other side. Aurelia's there. Pendulum gets a pass. Zinnia turret gets dropped and it's going to keep the corridor super, super narrow. Akrua wants to keep it there, but Aurelia has a core flip. They got to keep the core away. That's going to do it. Aurelia found the core flip and found the goal. That's going to be Money Night Monday going to EGG FUCT. Whoa. Big time conclusion. Gets it done. And now, look, I want I want to do an interview, all right, you guys? Uh, are, are we able to do an interview before this raid happens? Is that a thing? Or are we just going to call it here? Because, you know, this raid, this all-important raid is, is so much more important. I need to know. Also, I need to adjust where I'm sitting. So I'm like, got that hat on. I want to wear the hat. Yeah, I'm wearing the hat. I'm I'm festive now. Um, but yeah, uh, very, very good. Very good stuff uh, happening right there. Uh, hopefully we'll get confirmation on if the interview is happening or if we're just going to, you know, YOLO it. 
do your raid, do your other thing. Uh, either way, amazing tournament and an amazing way to cap off what's been a fantastic year. Look, uh, so good times were had. Ahmed, okay, okay. I, 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 I'm sorry, Ahmed, I'm calling you out. Ahmed was thinking we, they had another game and was like, why aren't we like, was, was wanting to ready up. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's fun. That's fun. Shout out, shout out there. Oh, <laughs> uh, love you, Ahmed. Um, I mean, look, I, I want to do this interview. I want to get into it. Um, but yeah, okay. Because people were talking about it. You guys can take a look at the background. All right. We can do it. It's a Mary Swing Swingins, all right? It's Mary Swingins. You see, he brings all the festive baseball sporting cheer or something. Oh, jeez. I think I broke my chair. What? Just chair, man. Just chair. All right, anyways. um, There we go. I think we're good now. The chair good? Oh, it's like super wobbly. You know what I want for Christmas? A new chair. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they, a big shout out and a big thank you to everyone who did jump in and play today. Uh, it, it's been an absolute, you know, blast doing this as always. Uh, it's a good, good time. <laughs> Aurelia's just like, <laughs> uh, so it, it will be good. It'll be good to have that chat um, as soon as they jump in, which will hopefully be soon. I'm keen. There we go. Looks like, looks like some names are jumping in now. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll make this quick uh, because I do know you have your raid. Everyone's been screaming about this raid. Uh, so first of all, congratulations to our champions, EGG FCUT. Uh, congrats on getting this win done. And um, yeah, Al, floor is yours. What do you have to say? Who wants it? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, just um, another fun tourney to play. Uh, always fun to play against Kura, Zinnia, um, Jackie, uh, Ayo. Yeah, it was fun. So, I want to go back to the winner's final real quick because, look, I, I, a ruling was made, a game loss was given, but I want to know what was going through your minds when you see the triple Mako comp come yeah, down uh, against you? We all, I mean, well, at least I did. Um, I think I said in comments, like, is, this, is that game bugged? Like, what are we saying here? There's three Makos, what is, what is going on? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, look, I wouldn't put anything past these guys. Absolute jokers, what clowns. Um, but nah. Was, uh, I, I, yeah. I felt like that was a Zinnia special, if I were to point at someone <laughs> piecing it together. Oh, I'm gonna throw him under the bus. Actually, Io, he cooked that uh -huh. one up. Ah, it was the IO one. Okay, Ooh. fair enough, fair enough. But um, look, as a whole, I mean, you guys absolutely dominated this tournament. Like, it didn't drop a game, didn't drop a set. Well, you dropped a couple sets, but it didn't drop a game. That's the more important thing. Do you feel like this arguably could be the best, you know, trio roster that OCE has to offer? It's a big claim. Yeah. Big, this is no, this is the final interview of the year. This is where the actual hard hitting question is. I'm not giving you softball. Ooh, what are you doing for Christmas? No, <laughs> this is serious stuff. That's true. Mm. Mm. Mm, look, I guess we'll never know until this squad versus uh, Doobie Hunters mm. because they are still undefeated from what I understand. So who knows? Yeah, look, in terms of individuals, like, it's, it's so close in this region. Like, it's just whoever plays better on the day in most games. Um, uh, but in terms of teams, yeah, like we just said, Dubu Hunters, I think they're pretty they're pretty scary. Like, the synergy they have, they play their comps so well. So it's unfortunate that Linnea's stopped playing and Dongchi has kind of stopped playing. But, yeah, th those three are definitely, you can't really, can't really claim to be better than them until someone's defeated them. Well, I guess then that said, that goes to the next question. Like, because again, Christmas is happening. This is the last Monday night, Monday of the year. Uh, obviously hoping that we can continue these, you know, start next year, can continue to roll with these sort of events. But 
Is there still motivation to stick with this game? Is there still motivation to keep playing? And do you think like this tournament scene can sort of survive for as long as possible? Hmm. I mean, look, I, I don't like, it's not until I like play the game again that I realize how much I actually enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I've been playing other games, I'm not going to say which, but, uh, Oh, is it Final Fantasy? Oh, okay, it's out there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's totally out. You got oh. outed immediately. Who's talking about Final chat? Fantasy? Um, anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> like, it's. I will say it, it is nice taking a break from Mega Strikers, but um, like just playing the game again in the competitive environment, it's it, it always reminds me of how good this game is and could be. So, so um, I think I personally would be sticking around. I don't know about these other two. I love the game and the community, um, but you know, as much as I wanted to stick around, I don't think it will, unfortunately. Um, it's just, it's just unfortunate, really. Hopefully, I mean, I, I, hopefully there are a few more tournaments next year. Um, there are still a few, a few teams, and it's competitive. But I think a lot of us are just going to be waiting for the next Odyssey game to give yeah. that a crack. Yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen to see what the next Odyssey game will be. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know. It's weird times looking into the future, I guess. But, you know, uh, on that note, uh, when is this raid starting, by the way? How long do we actually have you here for, Rick? Because, like, <laughs> like, if you got to go, I don't want to be the one keeping you, all right? Uh, <laughs> like, look, I'll be honest. I have no idea. I got, like, pinged about it while I was, like, in the game. So I, I couldn't tell you. Probably soon. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, it, it, it gave you guys more fans than normal because everyone was coming in to cheer you guys on so you can finish quicker and go to this raid, all right? So, oh, yo, anyone wants to hop on Final Fantasy, hit me up. Um, I got Aurelia, now I've got to focus on you a little bit because you've been a little quiet right now, so I need to hear your thoughts. She's, on every... she's having issues connecting. I, I don't think she can, I'm not sure if she can hear. Okay, well, in that note, then, oh. uh, Shout out to Aurelia uh, for having a strong performance. It's a bit unfortunate we can't get her on and hear her take on everything. Um, but on that note, I'll leave it to you guys. Any final thank yous, any Christmas wishes or holiday wishes you want to throw out there? Yeah, happy holidays to everyone. And you especially, Formal. Well, you've been oh, like you. one of our pillars, I will say, for the longest time. So yeah, I hope, I hope you and the rest of the community has a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, I, the sentiments are shared, and I, I wouldn't, I, I can't call myself. I'd say the, no, the, the real pillars have been Snoo and Iris, uh, working behind the scenes to put these together. I just show up and yell lots, um, but I will share that. I, I think you know, who knows what the future has in store for this game? Who knows where it goes? As long as these Monday Night Mondays are happening, I'm gonna always find a way to be involved. Um, so. If Rixie's still gonna be around, I'm still gonna be around. Hopefully, a lot of you guys stick around, and when the new Odyssey game comes out. I'll definitely be around for that as well. But I think until then, now's as good time as any to sign off. So thank you so much for joining us this year. Thank you so much for participating. And thank you so much for making 2023 Omega Strikers the greatest one year of existence a game could have. <laughs> uh, was great stuff. And well, see you. See you in 2024, everybody. <laughs>